Ciao, mabuhay, and welcome to my Pinoy accent. Sent, 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 sent. Hello. Today, as you can see, I am wearing a nice, beautiful uh, t-shirt with a nice design, my Pinoy accent. And I also have a nice, beautiful mug. Mm. For your coffee and tea and whatever you want to drink from this beautiful mug. And this was made by Print Bless Digital Print. They are located at uh, Complex Poblacion Bosus Bulacan. So they're just along the Silacarin uh, de there. And they make tarpaulin, panaplex, intra board, life size standy, cut out sticker, t shirt, print like this one. And temporary plate, ID lamination, and all those, all that you could imagine they can do it for you. So please pay them a visit and they are very affordable. I want to thank Sir Kiel Carlo for designing this t shirt. Today, I am going to play a language game and we are featuring the Italian language. And this is a, pre the, a prelude for, uh, to my uh, uh, trip to the beautiful. Venice! As you know, Venice is located in Italy. So, I might as well practice my Italian. By the way, this uh, part of Italian uh, words and phrases are prepared by my friend. So, so I don't know any, anything about this one. And I don't know any language or any wor Italian words except ciao. I know for a fact that ciao means hello. So, let's see. By the way, my background is that I am Filipino. Uh, Philippines was colonized by the Spaniards for 300 years. So, our Filipino language is like a mixture of uh, Spanish, English, Malay, uh, Chinese, Japanese, because there are so many, so many uh, countries who colonized and invaded the Philippines. So, so, okay, let's start with the first word. Dun, 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 dun. The first word is mi, mi chi amo. Mi chi amo. Mi chi amo. What could be? Mi chi amo. Mi. Mi, my, my, maybe me, me, meaning myself. Chi amo. Te amo. I don't. I know. Te amo is like love in Spanish. I don't know if that makes sense. If I say my love. Okay. Let's see what's the meaning. Oh, my name is. It means my name is. So mi chi amo, mi chi amo Neil. So that's nice to know. Next, il teatro, il teatro. El teatro, it's, I think, the theater, I think. Oh, that's correct. All right. Theater. So I get one point here. Next is. Il conto per favor. Per favore. Il conto per favore. Il conto per favore. I think per favore means please. Il conto. In 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 in, Scandi in in Danish, conto means account. So I think if I will just guess it, I think I, uh, the the bill, please. Let's see what's it. The check, please. So it, yeah, I think I got it right. I got two points. Next is la estazione de policia. I think that's easy. La estazione de policia. I think the police station. Yes, the police station. Three points. Next is Bon Pomerigio. Bon Pomerigio. Bon Pomerigio. I think it's Bon Pomerigio. 
maybe good good morning maybe because bon i think bon means like bon appetit you say bon is like good so bon could be good good it's either good morning good afternoon or whatever i think it should be something like that so oh it's good afternoon i think i will give it half a point for me because i had so many guesses so half a point next is non parlo italiano non parlo italiano uh, I would guess Italiano is pertaining to the language and non means not so non parlo Italiano I'm not I'm not Italian I'm not Italian maybe oh it means I don't speak Italian non parlo Italiano I think I can make use of that one non parlo Italiano so, no point for me. Next is... Hey, delicioso! Mmm! Hey, delicioso! Uh, it's, that's very easy. I think it means delicious. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. Hey, delicioso! So, got that. I got four points now. Next is... Grazie. Grazie mille. Grazie mille. I think... I think grazie, if I heard it correct, I think grazie means thanks. And mille... Mille could be miles in English. So, like a million or a million or a thousand thanks, maybe? What is it? What is it? It's... Oh yeah, thanks a lot. I think that's close. I think that's close to my guess. So I get that half the point, I think. I'll give myself half a point. Next is El Leroporto. 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 I think that's very easy. I think, think, that, think, I think that means airport. The airport. Yes, that's the airport. El Porto. So five points for me. Next is Bonasera again this bon bon Bonasera. So if if bon pomeriggio pomeriggio is afternoon Bonasera maybe good evening <laughs> Bonasera. But I think I heard this word in uh, when I went to uh, Greece. Bonasera. Yeah, they use also this Bonasera, and I think that means that means good evening. Yeah, I got it right. Good evening! So I got it. One, two, three, four, five, six points for me! Plus two half points, one seven points! Let's see again. Dove el bagno? No, pan. I think when you say G N in, in, the, in, in, in Italian, it means uh, no, like lasagna. So uh, I think it's called Dove el bagno. Dove el, ba el baño? Eh, yeah, that's that's Dove el baño. Baño in Filipino means uh, toilet. So maybe and it's a question mark. So maybe it's asking for uh, where's the toilet. So yes, where's the bathroom? Yes, where's the bathroom? Dove el ba Dove el baño? So I think I got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next is La Stazione. La Stazione. And I think that's very easy. But it's not focusing, focus, focus, focus. La Stazione. I think it's, it's, it's the station. Yeah. Oh, it means train station. La Stazione. It means train station. Okay, so I think, I, I think I'll give up half the point. So, Next is Arrivederci. Oh my goodness, I heard this word. I, go, I heard this word before from my from my friend who was an au pair in Italy. And he was she was telling always Arrivederci. 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 I don't know if that means hello. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what's the Arriba Dirty. Arif, Arriba Dirty. Is it arrive to arrive? Arrive, Arriba Dirty. I don't know. It's to ar uh, when you, I don't know. Arrive, Arriba. I don't know. It means until we see each other again. And that's an informal way of saying until we see each other again. Arriba Dirty. Arriba Dirty. So that was wrong. So next is buongiorno. Buongiorno. Bo where's it? Buongiorno. 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 I think bon means good, and I think that's a like same greeting like good morning. Good, so I think giorno, giorno, giorno. Maybe good day. Good day. Oh, good morning. It's close. It means good morning. Buongiorno. Good morning. So that was wrong. <laughs> I think that's half actually because I say good, good, good day. So I think that's. Next is. It's only bit. There's only two letters. C. Si. C. Si. I think that means yes because in in Spanish I think uh, yeah, yes is also C. Si. So C si means yes. Yes. Yes, I got it right! C means yes. Eight, one, two, four, six, eight. Eight points plus four times one, uh, one half. So uh, I got 10 points already. So I think I'll get the last one. And this is Ripeta per pavor. Per pavore. Ripeta per pavore. So I know for a fact that per pavore means please. Repeta, repeta. If I will just make it, I I'll take it literally. Repeta to repeat, maybe. So I'll say repeat, please. I, that's a wild guess. So, yeah, I was right. I was right. Please repeat. Oh my goodness, it's very close to English. Wow. So I think one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus two. I got twelve points. I think that's. I think that's a good uh, uh, basis for me that I could put in my pocket when I go to Italy and have nice pizza and enjoy the gondola in Venice, or we call it Benidi here in Denmark. So, until then, how do you say goodbye? Uh, is it, how do you say goodbye? <laughs> how do you say, is it, is it also ciao? Ciao maybe? So, um, until then, thank you for watching. And, uh, see you on my next YouTube video. Ciao!